And welcome back to Ozarks Live. We are here with Kendra and Brian with Rescue One. And guys, who is this that you brought in with you today? <laughs> this is Tater Tot. Tater Tot. Okay, what's Tater Tot's story? Tater Tot's um, previous owner passed away. Mm. And uh. so um, he came into our care after there was nobody in his family that could take him in. Um, so, yeah, so he came in to Rescue One's care about Tuesday. To, oh my gosh. Yeah, so, so he's a newbie. Yeah. Okay. What kind, of, what, what kind of pup is this? He is a pointer mix. Ah. It's a beautiful dog. I yeah. can tell you about a pointer mix. They have very strong tails. <laughs> when, the, when that tail's wagging, uh -huh. you're, you're no very deal. aware of it. Yes, you have to be aware of that. What is the process that goes into, you know, uh, adopting an animal? Yeah, so anybody can uh, apply to adopt an animal on the Rescue One website. Uh, they can look through all the different options that we have for adoptions. We have cats and dogs that they can choose from, and then they just, on the application, they can put all of the dogs or cats that they're interested in, or just mm -hmm. the one if they have a specific, but they do that. And then yeah. after uh, a coordinator will look over the adoption application, then the foster will get in contact with the potential adopter, and we try to organize like a meet and greet. Yeah. And then if it seems like a good fit on both ends, then we do an adoption. Yes, I love that. Now I like. There's something important I want to touch on. You said foster, so that's the thing. Is like adopting is not the only option. You've got fostering, volunteering, <laughs> some other things. <laughs> so, so walk us through what like fostering or volunteering looks like with rescue yeah, as well. Yeah. So to foster, we have different types of fostering that you can do. You can just be a permanent foster, which is what Tater is for us. But people also do. Um, temporary fostering or vacation fostering, which is if their foster, a foster parent has to go out of town, they can take a look and watch over the animal while the foster parent's out of town. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like volunteering fostering mm -hmm. in a sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for fostering, if you are inter interested in fostering, you can just apply to be a foster on the website as well. And Rescue One's really good about providing all of the needs for the animal. So they provide all supplies and then they also do all vetting for the animal. Yeah, I'm, start, I'm changing <laughs> You know, focus. <laughs> I'm watching you with the pup. Yeah. This this pup is kind of trained, isn't it? A little bit. I mean, sure. I, I see he does certain things. Well, we didn't do any of that. We've had him for four days. Oh, and okay. He, he sits on command and then he shakes on command. I Maybe saw with it, that. With some treats. Well, but, of course. Yeah. Well, it's just reinforcement. Sure, That's of course. a great way to work course. with any kind of animal. And it's, it's different for every dog that you'll see with Rescue One. Some are puppies that haven't ever been trained. Right. They've been living in kennels their whole life. He was two and already had an owner, so they've done a good job so far because we haven't had any yeah. issues at our house. Yeah, yeah. What else have you guys, I know it's only been four days, but what are like some characteristics or traits about Tater Todd that you think would make him like really good for any kind of specific home? Yeah, so one of the things is he is high energy, so anybody who wants to exercise, have okay. a running, running partner, yeah. This he is great for that. Um, he also is just a big love bug. So, <laughs> oh, and a lot of lot of energy and likes everyone is what we. Yeah. When when you brought the pup in, just a crowd of people around, and he just had fun with all of look at this. Yeah, and he's also um, in his previous home. He had a cat sister, so ah. he is cat friendly. Mm -hmm. So. Um, this is not an apartment pup, though. I wouldn't disagree with it because yeah. typically I would say a dog that shouldn't be in an apartment is one that barks and he yeah. doesn't really bark. Well, that's good. So. That's good. But of course, if you if you're a runner or you like yes. to walk, of course, that's what counts. You have to have a uh, you know a way for the, yeah. the the pup to be able to exercise. Yeah. If you're a little Get lazier, out. maybe a backyard with a fence so he can <laughs> run around. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. However, many works. different owners exactly. of this one. Yeah. I love exactly. it. Okay. Now, you guys, is there any specific donation or supplies that Rescue One's in needing right now that you're aware of? Um, they are always in need of anything for food to cat litter to cat litter cat litter is a big one I feel like we're kind of short mm -hmm. on that every once in a while but food is a big one um, any donations then that way we can get medical needs for any um, emergency pets that come mm -hmm. in so um, donate Money donations help yeah. with that. Yeah, so. that's great. All right, so one more time, if someone's interested in adopting Tater Tot or any other animal over at Rescue One, how can they do that? They can go onto the Rescue One website and they can um, put in an application. It's just a tab that says adopt, and then you put an app, and then there's an adoption tab. Perfect. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're and good. then they you're can good. just put Tater Tot as the dog that they're interested in. Okay, perfect. So. Well, thank you guys for being here. Yeah. We hope that Tater Tot finds a good home. I, we'll I think dog. Tater Tot's going to find a home. <laughs> yeah. That's we a hope good so. Dog. Yeah, he's a good boy. <laughs> thank you, both of you. And thank you, Tater Tot. Yeah. Good job. <laughs>